Hello, I'm Jordan Pin, and welcome to Traveler's Rest, which is a Stardew Valley-like, is probably the best way to describe this, so that, or Graveyard Keeper, if you've ever played any of those kind of farming life sim games, uh, it's kind of like one of those, uh, but instead of running a farm, or indeed a graveyard, uh, we are running a tavern, we are an innkeeper, so we have to set up a farm, go and mine resources, do all the usual stuff that you have to do in that, which is the end goal of producing products to put in our inn whether that means we're going to be crafting shelves or whether we're going to be making food, brewing our own beers, that sort of thing. And then there's tons of different recipes that you can make. So you can make a beer, but then you might want to add a bit of citrus to flavor to it, which might the punters might like a little bit more and also pay you a bit more. And then obviously we can upgrade our tavern, hire employees, all the usual sort of stuff. Uh, this one is in early access. I'll leave it linked in the description if you like the look of it and want to check it out for yourself and wishlist it. Uh, but let's just kind of jump into this one and we'll set up our character. That's the name of us. And then we've got to name our tavern, which we won't call it that. We'll do something else. But uh, yeah, there's a bunch of customization. We just kind of hit random a couple of times. I could be here all day. So I think what I'll do is I'll just cut away and make a character i think that's probably the best thing to do because um yeah i could be here all day so uh yeah just just give me a minute okay so there we go i've set up my character and i've also renamed it to the steel rabbit is going to be the name of our inn so there we are we'll just keep ourselves as drawing pin um so let's kind of get into this one and click accept here we go uh, we will activate the tutorial because to be honest i don't exactly remember what to do so uh, it's been a while I think I only played about 10 hours of it or something like that. So the game is currently in early access, yada yada, that's fine. So we're sad. Uh, this does also have um, full gamepad support. So if you want to play on a gamepad, you are more than welcome to. I'll switch over to that in a minute and we'll uh, play it. We'll play on both uh, just to show you guys. So we've just got to move about. We're sad. We've got to shift and run. And then we've got to end a B, decorating mode. Uh, While well, in a decorating mode, you can place items. So select the item. There we go. So we want to move that. You can move it and then press E to place. Okay. So we're obviously going to want to move that so that patrons can get in. Customers need to uh, place to sit, place the benches so that they face. Aha, there we go. Yes, yeah, so you can see which way it's got to rotate. So let's do that. There we go. Uh, customers also ex expect their table to be uh, well lit in the evenings. Try placing a candle. Candles are consumed over a course of day, so you will need to replace them in the future. Okay, let's grab that. And we'll kind of put that there. There we go. Exit decoration mode. Uh, get closer to the book in the bar and uh, press E to open your stock. So that's going to be B to close. And if we run over here, I've uh, got to go up to our book. Uh, storing food here will add it to your bar stock. So yeah, if we brew beers or make porridges or soups or whatever, um, those will be added to here. So uh, bars in stock, you will serve gruel. Cool, <laughs> only award a small amount of money and reputation. Uh, yeah, so there is a whole level up system as well. Um, press O to open the tavern and serve some gruel. Okay, let's go. Let's open. Uh, you have a quest, press H to view it. Okay. So uh, first customer, serve six customers and I get a table stool and some candles and then we do have uh, various other things as well but it looks like it's locked behind yeah we need tavern reputation that's a kind of whole brewing area and stats and skills and that's the same with that one as well but it's kind of all locked away at the moment and um, that's fine so we've just got to serve six customers so i pressed h to view it yeah there we go that's fine we got another one no all right Let's go. So we're just waiting for some customers now. There we go. Here's the first one. All right, mate, hang on. Serve you some gruel. There we go. And we got 71 got, uh, bronze coins or copper coins. Either way, copper, isn't it? And then that 100 of those equates to one silver and so on. And then 100 of those is one gold, etc. Uh, a lot of those do use that. So that's good. Gives us a little reputation. So we've got a moth, which we are going to need because uh, customers are mucky people so there we go great place there we go we've leveled up or oh, we've done that one and we've got a reward which is great close up the tavern so you can place the new items uh, call last orders by pressing oh this will prevent new customers from entering the tavern 
So let's do that. Uh, pressing it once again will force, but you will lose reputation. Instead, wait for your customers to leave. Yeah, so I could just boot them out, but um, obviously we don't want to do that. We want to kind of just let them finish their meals and then we'll kind of go on our way. Uh, it will show us there is a whole outside world as well. There's a little level down there as we slowly leveled up. Um, there we go. The nicer we make it and the more well lit and obviously in the evenings and so on, we will need to light a fire to keep this place a little bit warmer. Set up a table using new items. Yep, there we go. Let's go into B mode. And then we've got to put that down. So uh, let's place that thing. I'll uh, we'll put that like there because we've only got a couple of stools. A little bit of a walkway between the two. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll go... Oh, that goes there. Okay. All right. I thought that was going to go the other side. Never mind. That's fine. Once your tavern is open and now serves customers, complete more quests to unlock new upgrades. Okay, that's cool. All right. I've done that. Oh, I need to put a candle on it as well, don't I? Yeah, yeah. Put that in as well. Do you want me to put all of those candles down? I kind of want to hang on to them. Let's go there. That's good. As you can see, they're slowly burning down as well. Uh, let's open up the. Uh, let's open up though. Hopefully that'll just disappear. There we go. Let's get rid of that. I don't want to put too many of those down. Uh, we have got a little. I'll just quickly open up and show you. Oh, that's not open yet. Ah, uh, the craft crafting room. Fair enough. We have got a little crafting room back there where we can brew up our various beers and so on. Um, but let's just keep on serving gruel. We have the best gruel in the land. So enjoy. Finally, give me a chance to rest. Uh, was there a way to zoom out a little bit as well so you could see all the dirt? Uh, one of your customers has dirted the floor. Clean it. Okay. So we're going to get the mop out. Serve everybody. We're going to come over here and sweep the floor. But eventually you can get like a magic broom that does it. So, uh, Do you have anywhere to sit? Oh, there we go. Ah, so we've just got porridge. And we've also got some buckets of water, so we'll be able to make that. That might have opened up the uh, crafting room now. You can now serve porridge. Press E on your book and put it in your inventory. Yeah, there we go. So if you put that there... Uh, do you not want to go up there? Oh, I have to click it all up. Oh, there we go. Right click does it. That's good. Uh, customers who uh, also order drinks. Drinks can be served in the tavern and stored in the taps. Yeah, there we go. Case can only be filled with uh, carbonated uh, drinks like beer, while case can be filled with any drink. Oh, tap, sorry, but kegs can. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, in order to serve, uh, you must uh, water must be stored in one of the drinks dispensers. Approach the keg, press Q to refill it. A uh, table is dirty. Oh, great. Yep, that table's dirty over there. Let's come over here and clean it. Get that clean. Our customers asked for a glass of water. Oh, that's new. You never did water before. Approach the keg and press E and uh, pour in a glass. Approach the customer and press E. Oh, remember that the colour can be assigned to each drink and a drinks dispenser to make it easier to identify. I uh, just started selling beer before. Oh, huh. interesting. So Q. That. There we go. Okay. All right. Uh, pour a drink. Uh, now the drink has been added to your tray. Uh, you are able to uh, see the drinks on your tray and action bar. Uh, you can return the drinks from your uh, tray to the dispenser by holding down the R key. Okay. You see the beverage. What is it? Yeah. All right. That sounds pretty good. So I just got to put that there. Oh, you want a drink. So I've got to take it to you. Serve. Yeah, that's new. don't remember doing that. So I've got to serve five bowls of porridge. And uh, we've also got to serve glasses of water as well. I wonder if we could put that into the... Oh, hang on. Oh, no, you don't want that. Okay. Serve that to you. Wow. As silver? Well, I guess it is clean water, isn't it? Oh, wow. They all want drinks. Oh, but they've come to the bar for it. Interesting. Yeah, it was just, it wasn't that. I think he just jumped straight into serving beer before. Either way, that's good. This place ain't so bad. No, it's not. Everyone just wants water. Well, 
Oh, copper axe. There we go. That's great. You obtain a copper axe, close your tavern and go outside and chop down trees in order to advance your quest and new technologies. Yeah. I kind of want to solve, serve some bowls of porridge if we can. Now we've got to keep this place clean. Let's do that. Got to go over there. Man. The water is going down great, isn't it? Everyone wants water. Can I serve two drinks? Oh yeah, I can. Oh, nice. Okay, that's good. Let's get another one. Let's go there. And the table is gross. Well, stop dropping your food everywhere. There we go. Clean it up. As well, needs more places like this. Thank you very much. Uh, so we need to close, de close down, chop down some trees. All right, well, let's call last orders. Someone does want a drink, so we'll kind of go for that. Yeah, there was no... Um, that's interesting. That's new. 23 silver. That's looking good. Uh, there is obviously a day-night cycle as well. And um, we do have a bed back here as well, right? Yeah, we've got a bed and a storage and all that sort of stuff. So that's good. Uh, there should be a reputation somewhere as well. Oh, I think the rep is my uh, level, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Let's clear that up. It's great. Let's go outside now and we'll cut some trees down. So it wants me to chop down a bunch of trees. Let's do this. It's like five trees to cut down. There we go. And then, yeah, there is a whole world to explore as well. But as I say, early access, so, uh, you know, they're adding things slowly. I think when it first came out, it was just the... Um, it was just the tavern. There wasn't any outside or anything like that, if I remember rightly. All uh, right, we got to see. And then there's like nodes, copper nodes, and things like that as well. But uh, you know, we'll get introduced to that. Chop down another tree. Do a bit of crafting. Let's cut that one down. Elm sprout. One more down make a little farm somewhere hopefully that's kind of what it's leading me towards yeah there we go so we've got a copper scythe and we've now got a sawmill which is great uh, so you have timed your first work area the sawmill build it outside the tavern using the decoration mode uh, select the copper sickle and clear the weeds remember if you uh, if it won't be able to use the decoration mode uh, is enabled yeah okay that's cool let's grab all of that so uh, let's like Stardew Valley. Let's just chop down some of this stuff. I mean, where are we going to put this? Let's kind of just clear out some of this stuff. Uh, but yeah, there is a bit of a world to explore. But we'll just go through the tutorial, I think, today and kind of get that going. Um, I mean, I think here's fine. Let's just kind of get this uh, thing down. So let's enter O. Oh, sorry, B. I don't want to open the tavern because. Um, yeah, I'm not uh, not there. Ah, i got to clear some more stuff out of the way. Fair enough. Yeah, that's fine. I need to just clear a few things, dude. Still got a few bits and bobs there to clear. Oh, I'm still in build mode. There we go. Getting used to it all again. Oh, wow. Cut a thousand weeds. All right, fair enough. That obviously was not it when I played last time, but obviously cut down a load of weeds. <laughs> There's no way I cut down a thousand weeds. There we are. That's good. Let's go build mode again. Then we'll go back to there. Let me press F. Then we drop that in, say, there. There we go. Brilliant. And then what do we want me to do? Uh, serve that. Fabricate 20 wooden planks. Okay. Each crafter has its own recipes. Uh, these show their ingredients, fuel, and time. Click the recipe and begin crafting. So that's going to require... All right, let's start doing that. Uh, each recipe has time. Once the timer is full, uh, move closer and press E to collect the items. So it wants 20, so let's do that. That's fine. I'm pretty sure I have to fuel this thing as well, right? Do you have to fuel this thing? I thought you did. There we go, it's going. So that's gonna take some time. So let's go back 
and we'll open up the tavern and just see if we can get those bowls served. Uh, there is also this little notice board here which has uh, orders, special orders, higher staff, stuff like that, but I don't have any of that stuff open. Yeah, same with that one as well. Obviously you can see the calendar and uh, see events and so on, but um, that's fine for the moment. And then I think this, unless it's, yeah, we can order things from here, uh, but we won't worry about that now. Get things mail order. Let's just kind of open up the tavern again, see if we can serve these bowls. I think that's the way to go. Yeah, we've got no uh, booze or anything at the moment. See so if, was it five porridge? That's good. And then we'll just leave that kind of cooking in the background. Okay, here we go. Bunch of people coming in. Hey, there we go. Well, that's two bowls of porridge. Oh, and then you want a glass of water. Boo. There we are. Got one more bowl left. Oh, that table's dirty as well. Let's clear that one up. And then the bowls of porridge. Damn, they're going well. There we are. We got a doormat. Okay, but it does add some comfort, so I guess that's something. Uh, we've just got to wait for those wooden planks, so we may as well... Uh, so if I put that there, no, I'm not sure about what that is, so. Oh, can I do that there? That's good. Let's clean that as well. Let's kind of go there. Okay, so I've switched over to the gamepad just to see, to show that one off. But um, yeah, let's go there. So we've got to pour out a drink. Got to run over here. And we've got to serve it to you. There we go. Oh, someone else wants water. Blow me now. There we go, that's good. Serve that as well. Jobs are good in. There we go, but yeah, I played it on both and it all, it worked absolutely fine. Uh, the water is definitely the most popular thing, isn't it? By like a mile. Everyone's just chugging down water. But hey, um, uh, oh, oh, hello, hang on. Oh, no, sorry, I don't want to do that. Oh, how do I get out? There we go, I wanted to clean about that. There we go. Yep, I've got to wipe down the table. Try and keep up. Let's get that going, let's serve you, let's serve you. Someone else wants water. Yeah, I like this game. I'll say I do like uh, Stardew Valley games, so if you do like those type of games, then uh, this one will be right at home with you. Uh, looks like someone else wants some. Let's kind of serve you. Serve you as well. I think I can just serve here, right? Yeah, there we go. Oh, and then we've got a spillage. Gonna need to go there and clean that up. It's good. Oh, what a lovely journey it's been. It's good. And then, yeah, hopefully the fabricator's doing its thing and I got it right. Right, let's go back out to here. Drop you off, and that's perfect timing. They made a mess. Let's clear up that table, and then yeah, you know you can just expand out and make this a lot bigger, and add like a bunch of tables in here, and you can make the tables yourself. Obviously, you mine up the resources, and you can buy them as well. So, uh, you know whichever way you want to go. Let's do this. Yeah, water. When do we get to do beer? Pretty sure it just started you off with beer pretty quickly last time I uh, played it, but. Um, yeah, we definitely need some more seating because we haven't got much in the way of room, have we? There we go. But little baby steps, that's the way it goes. And then we'll see, because I could run outside and just go and check, but I'm not going to do that on the boards. I think they take a little bit of time. Hopefully, I feel like I've set those off wrong, but uh, who knows. Let's get the porridge down, yeah. Get the cleaning on the go here. Someone wants water. Let's run backwards and forwards. So once you get some employees and that, you can kind of focus a little bit more on, uh, you know, farming and that sort of thing, getting better resources and crafting much better meals and that sort of thing. But in these early games, you're kind of running around a little bit. Oh, damn, another one. That's good. 
go here. We're making a go. The town's moving cold. Use the fire. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, open. Forestry waste. Let's kind of just do that. Burns very fast. Uh, light. There we go. It's going to get cold, so people are not going to like that. Uh, but we'll close up shop soon, I think. Because, um, yeah, I just want to go and check on those sawmills. This table needs a clean. It's cleaned up now. Oh, yeah, I think people get rowdy as well, and you can swipe them with a broom. Yeah. Oh, you want that? I think we'll probably think about taking last orders. Maybe not, though. Oh, the keg is empty. Dang, okay. All right, we've got to open that. And we've got to put that in there. We're going to be running out of water soon. Dang. I've got to clean this table. Oh, my God. Let's go there. I think... Let's do one more, and then I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna uh, close up shop. I think. All right, see what you want. All right, we'll sell you that, and then we'll kind of go last orders. How did I do last orders on the? Ah, oh, there we go. We've just reached a new reputation. Each milestone unlocks a new items and mechanics. Brewing tech tree. Ooh, nice. There we go. That's cool. And I think it was there. We are down on the D-pad. That was it. That was good. Uh, we want the old doormat. There we go. We'll do the build mode in a minute. But we'll just kind of wait for... Oh, hang on. No, we've got like a crappy, dirty... Dirty, there we go. Oh, I'm clearing away all of the glasses as well. Okay, that's new. Yeah, I don't know why the doormat's stuck there. Right, that's cool. Um, how do we do... Build mode, there we go. Let's put this down. Like at the door. I mean, it's a doormat, isn't it? Place that there, there we go. Brilliant. Great, so let's go outside. Let's just see whether these uh, wood bits have been fabricated or not. Collect. There we are. Now we have got a copper pickaxe by the looks of it. You can attain a copper pickaxe. You can use the pickaxe to mine nodes and uh, get metals and material and minerals. Uh, remember that the uh, decoration mode must be disabled in order to mine. Okay, there we go. And then we should just be able to come over here and mine. And these do respawn as well. There we go. There should be some others around and about. Mine four metal nodes. Okay, let's have a look. Obviously, that's coal. We probably want to mine. Is that is that coal? Is that iron? I think that was coal, right? Oh no, it was iron. Got to mine the copper, but still, we'll mine up the copper. We'll mine up the iron as well. Here we go. Yeah, I think this stuff respawns every day in this area, um, but I think the other areas, um, it don't think. I think it respawns, but it takes like a week or something, if I remember rightly. Uh, there we go. Uh, you have obtained the smelter and the anvil. Uh, when you uh, build the smelter, a new working area dedicated to metals will be created. This area cannot overlap any other working area. Some objects can only be placed in certain working areas. The anvil can only be placed in the metal working area. Okay, cool. Well, we might as well just grab up the rest of this. I mean, is there any reason not to? Got to craft iron nails. Yeah, but you told me to craft to get copper. All right, well, never mind. Just thinking, you told me to get copper, right? So, never mind. Uh, we can get water out of there, so we'll be okay for our water. Let's come over here, because I think this was coal then. Yeah, that's coal. Let's grab that. Go there. And then let's go to build mode. And we want to place that down, but I'm going to have to clear an area, I think. Yeah, let's clear an area. I think that's what we're going to have to do. There we go. Uh, let's chop this down. I've got to rearrange some of these as well. 
clear down some of these trees. Let's just get rid of that. The war on trees continues. <laughs> uh, there we go. And I've got to rearrange my hot bar as well. But so yeah, it works perfectly fine on the pad. That's what I'm using at the moment. So, you know, whichever one you want to use, they all work. So there we go. And then, so place the smelter and the anvil down. Oh, is that because I'm standing in the way? Oh, is the tree in the way? All right, okay, fair enough. Let's go back and get rid of this one then. Should really go to bed. But uh, that's where it's saved. Let's just try and get this down there. Getting late, last orders uh, to give your customers a uh, last chance for their drinks. But yeah, I know. Kind of pushing it a little bit. Oh, seriously? Come on, game. Okay, all right. Got to get rid of that now as well. Bloody hell. All right, let's just go to bed. Screw it. Let's just go to bed. And we'll do the crafting tomorrow. Let's just go. Let's hit the sack. And then, yeah, there's a whole kitchen in the back of that as well, so... Uh, oh, make bed. Uh, this is your bedroom, sleep, uh, and your bed save the game. If you stay up too late, you'll pass out. Yeah, it's kind of usual with these games, isn't it? Sleep, there we are. And there we go. Let's try and make... some nails. Uh, well, let's make the bed. Damn, we've got to make the bed. Right. Go and make some nails. At least set that off anyway. Before opening your tavern, consider stocking up the day. Uh, you'll need uh, logs for crafting and uh, the fireplace. Visit the post box outside uh, your tavern to order more supplies. Okay, yeah. We're doing alright at the moment, but let's go this way. I just want to set up this thing if I can. Yeah, those respawn again as I say every day, so might as well mine that. Go there. Oh, we could set it up this side actually. Yeah, let's do that. Kind of want to keep all the crafting in you know one area. So let's do it over here. I think. Let's break that one. It's just one single one. Let's go there. Build mode again. Put that down. Get that closer to that one. There we are. Brilliant. And then we've got that one down. And then if we get the anvil down as well. Ah, that's got to be placed there. I mean, there's any reason not to put it next to it. I think for now, because we can pick it up. So, yeah, that's fine. And then if we go here and open. Uh, what do we need? So I'm assuming we need to make iron. We need iron bars. Okay. But I need to add fuel, so let's add some fuel to that sucker. I mean, we'll add coal, that's probably going to be the best one, isn't it? Let's go to the smelter. Smelt off those, that's great. And then let's go and just mine up all these resources again, because as I say, they're here every day. Uh, let's also pick up and move that there. We'll put that there, we'll put that there. Oh, we've got a that a wood chopping area as well let's put that there as well uh, but anyway yeah we've got a wood cutting area I think so we'll put that in the wood working area but for now let's just kind of mine up all of this stuff it's good and then, yeah there is a whole map as well to explore uh, but we'll we'll get to that I think for now we just got to grind up some more of these resources as we've got to make iron nails there we go. Yeah, it told me to mine copper though. It's kind of a bit stumpy, but never mind. Let's go for that. Yeah, really good game this. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I'd say if you like these Stardew Valley games, I've got like Dinkum as well. I've just thought about that. I've got better graphics. I've never really played that. I should play that. Just thought about it. Never mind. Um, yeah, that's good. But let's just kind of mine up this one. I just thought it was a different change of pace from killing zombies and aliens and all the rest of it that we usually do on the channel let's kind of change it up and see what you guys thought to it anyway let's go there 
we need to get rid of that. Um, oh, let's get rid of that as well. Let's kind of run around and just grab. I think those are just, yeah, we can mine up the stone, but for now I'm just going to go with this. Although probably, should, yeah, I should mine it. I know I'm going to need it. So it's there for a reason, isn't it? So we should just mine everything. Let's go for that. And then let's collect those. Uh, we need to open and craft. Let's craft as many as we can. Oh, okay. Let's go to fuel because we're out of fuel. There we are. That's great. Let's open that. I mean, is there any reason not to make more of those? We're probably going to need them for something, so let's just kind of make those. Uh, but let's make what we can. So we're going to need to. Oh, we need to fuel this thing as well. All right. Oh, well, that's just two ingots is enough. That'll make the 10 that we need. Brilliant. That's great. I think if we go... Yeah, these are some of the areas as well that you can kind of go to. It's like flowers and things that you can pick and various other bits and bobs that you can collect as well. So forestry waste and, yeah, there's like lemon trees and things about and characters to meet and so on, so... You know, yeah, a bunch of miners and stuff over there, but it's going to stay on task for the moment, and we'll kind of worry about that later. Uh, we just got to wait for those. Oh, wow, are they all done? Oh, well, that's good. We got those. And then, yeah, just like, um, again, a, a graveyard keeper that I'm familiar with, that has uh, those sort of colored points uh, that you can then use to uh, upgrade. So we have been given a blueprint bench by the looks of it. Is that new? It's new, right? Hmm. Okay, craft a small workbench. Uh, craft a small table using the workbench. Okay, let's put that down. I'll put that anywhere. Yes, I can. Hmm. Yeah, I think this bit might be a little bit easier on the keyboard or mouse, though, might not. Let's switch back to that. Can I switch back to that? No, I didn't want to do that. Let me pick that up again. Let's grab that. There we go. Um, I mean, I think for the moment it'll just kind of go there. Yeah, we'll just put it there. It's a bit messy at the moment, but we can kind of work on that later. Oh, sorry. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, I put it away. Never mind. There we go. And then we've got to come out build mode. And then I've got to craft a small, what did it say? Small table using the workbench. Individual tables, small tables, so I need some more nails and I need some poles. I was kind of thinking I might need poles. Let's go there and we'll make a few of those. We do need boards for those. And then we need some more of those. And we need some more of those. That's good. We'll just kind of set those off. Yeah, cool little game. I say I really like this one. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys do too. And then we're probably going to want. A, ben a small table, individual table. We're probably going to want some small benches as well, right? I would assume. Um, how do we? There we go. I. That was it. So I think. Yeah. There we go. Uh, tech tree. And uh, I learn new recipes. So there we go. And then yeah, you get the various uh, points. I think it was like metal working and. That was like sort of farming and stuff like that. And yeah, the more you did of those, uh, the more you got those points in like Graveyard Keeper and that. And then you use those to kind of upgrade these various things. We need Reputation 2 coming soon. Out of those on in the game. But we have a mild ale. There we go. It's in a bottle as well. It was like in a... Huh. Yeah, it was in like a... Um, oh, let's collect because we might just be able to make those now. Yeah, those do we need? I oh, know. I still need some more poles. Fair enough. Just wait for those to be done. Uh, we might want to make like a little storage bench or something out of there. Just because, yeah, let's set more of those off. Plank stockpile. We might want that. Coal stockpile. Log stock. Firewood stockpile. Brewing barrel. Blacksmith's keg. Aging barrel. Yeah, so we want to age our liquors and all that sort of stuff as well. Let's collect that. Then we should be able to make this thing. 
there we go and then that's being produced slowly as well okay all right well, I'm just gonna chop down some trees or something like that whilst I kind of wait for this uh, to finish okay here we are so I've collected that and I've got four paper coasters okay there we are we can now make a you can now unlock your crafting room and when you're ready uh, close up and head to the northern side of the tavern there we go so if we go back inside uh, we need to make one small bench oh, okay all right let's just have a look at what we need for that because I'm probably gonna need to set some stuff off so small small bench I just need some nails okay well, that shouldn't be too difficult to do yeah we just probably need to fuel this thing let's put some of that let's go to the anvil let's put those there that's good and then we should be able to make that as well um, found on the northern side of the tavern that should be over here right oh so I've got to unlock it for 40 okay well there we go and then I've got hops unlock the crafting room found on the northern side of the tavern there we go it's going to make a small bench. Uh, this is your crafting room. Let's you uh, let's make some porridge. There we go. And so we can make various recipes, but we need the porridge. So that's the one we need. But we need to fuel this thing up first. Yeah, fuel is going to be an issue, to say the least. Let's make that. Some recipes can be modified. This allows extra ingredients to be added. Some recipes have mandatory modifiers. So uh, porridge or modifier required. Uh, porridge requires grain. Try dragging the barley from your inventory into the slots. This will create barley porridge. Yeah, I didn't. I just press in space. Uh, you have not yet uh, met the re mandatory requirements. For example, porridge requires grain. Try dragging that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So let's put that into there. Is that that? I think so. Wait for the porridge to be cooked. There we are. So again, another crafting station. So yeah, really cool game. I am digging this one. Hope you guys are liking this one too. I think though for now, I think that's where I'm going to call it. And I'll end the episode. And we'll just get this thing going soon as well. And we'll try and make those. And I'll probably just do a bit of uh, grinding in between the episodes. And just get some more of these things built. Some uh, iron and that sort of thing. But um, yeah, there we go. We need to make that. Um, but uh, as I say, I think for now, I think this is where we will call it and we will end the episode. So if you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments and smash that like button and all that sort of stuff. It does help me out and lets me know that you want to make more. Uh, but as I say, I think for now, this is where we'll call it and we'll end the episode. So if you like that one, please give me a thumbs up. Comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe for more. I really do appreciate it. Stay safe out there, everyone. And I'll catch you next time.